ladies, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am Hannah and today we are doing an Amazon haul. I spend so much time and so much money on Amazon that I might as well share my finds with you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on this video right here. Let's start off with shoes. So I'm one of those people that buy the same shoe in a bunch of different colors. So this sandal is from the brand Soda and I did purchase one in a six and a half and one in a seven. Six and a half does definitely fit me, but the seven does fit a little bit better. I'm one of those people that is between sizes. I'm either a six and a half or a seven. If you're gonna buy these, just do the half size up. I did purchase this in black. It is a little strappy sandal with a little wedge. I love this shoe. I think that this shoe is something that is so versatile. A casual setting, I can put this with a pair of shorts, but I could also put this with a dress, and I just love it. Like, it's so basic. They're both suede. They both have, like, a suede feel to them, but the nude shoe is more of, like, my girly, toned-down look. This is something that I can wear with, like, a jean skirt or maybe, like, a flowier dress to a wedding. More dressed up, but it still has that edgy factor of just being like a basic wedge. That's that for these. Moving right along. I did get these in a pack and they're just like the perfect little like bitchy sunglasses moment. They're tiny but yet like they do cover. They are very dark and these just make me feel like so extra and so cute. When I'm feeling sassy I'll do the red and when I'm feeling a little bit more like edgy and nonchalant I'm gonna go ahead and do the black. Let me set these back where they belong. The next item was that acrylic purse that I showed you guys in my last video. It is a little bit difficult to open, but as I'm opening and closing it, it's getting a little bit easier. So it is just plastic. The whole thing is acrylic and it's super small. It's just big enough to fit like a wallet and like your phone in it. But for summer, I figured like just to strap this on, it has this cute gold chain with it, but you can detach the chain. So if you want to hold it more like a clutch, you can do that as well. But I think I paid $11 for this. And like how cute is this with like some little cherry earrings? 10 out of 10 would highly, highly recommend this. I really think that this trend is going to come back and I'm ready for it because I love this purse. Okay, so next category is clothing. I am going to break this down by outfits. So I'm going to show pieces that I would pair together, but obviously these are interchangeable. A lot of my pieces are very basic. So if you want to dress them up or dress them down, that is totally up to you. But again, I will list them individually down below. First item is this t-shirt. This is just a basic white t-shirt. Now I do know that this t-shirt does come in black as well, but I own so much black as it is that I felt like, girl, you need some white in your life. And then as I'm trying these on, I will also do like full body shots in the mirror with it. The next item that I would actually pair with this t-shirt is this leopard wrap skirt. Now this is a midi length skirt in this beautiful leopard print. I feel like you can do leopard print really dirty sometimes, but I feel like this is a good leopard print. It does wrap around and there is a slit that goes up the side. The slit is a little revealing, so be prepared for that. They're like how freaking cute and then like those black sandals or even some Doc Martens. Oh, so cute for the summer. I cannot wait to wear this. I purchased this red crop top with a knot in the front. The only thing that I'm not sure about with this shirt is that the sleeves are super long. Honestly, I could just roll these up easily and it is a little bit more flattering. And then I did purchase this shirt to go with this skirt right here. A floor length floral skirt that does have a slit up the side as well. It is super cute and I think with the red and like the black, it's going to be just like such a statement without being so much. Next, outfit. <laughs> Take a shot for how many times I say outfit in this video. It's a black t-shirt that I bleach dyed. This is something that the internet has basically seen everywhere, but it's something that I just like fell in love with. And I did do it to this shirt as well. This was a green shirt that I got from Forever 21 that was severely bleach dyed. And it just like, it gives it such a little extra like vintagey moment. But this is an extra large men's Hanes t-shirt. You can basically pair it with whatever shorts you want. These are some black shorts that I did purchase from Forever 21. I did also buy a pair of pink biker shorts that I will show you guys in just a moment. I think that they came in black too. So maybe pick up a black pair if you guys like those. I am here for the oversized t-shirt situation. Speaking of this trend, 
I also picked up this giant oversized Woodstock tie-dye rainbow t-shirt. There's so many things that I want to say about this shirt right here. I, I did already wash it and it did wash up really nice. I did not dry it. That's like the tip though with oversized shirts. Don't dry them because they will shrink. This is so cute and then I did pair it with a pair of bright pink neon shorts. And then if you're like, ooh, pink shorts, tie-dye, I don't know, girl. Throw on a pair of black, there's black in the writing, or navy, or whatever color you want. If you're not a pink girl, buy a pair of yellow or a pair of orange. Like, there's so many options, and it's something that you can kind of customize more towards you, but it's also super fun, and like, for the summer, with a tan, I mean, come on. Guys, we are just getting down to the wire. I can't believe how many things I bought, but also feel like I didn't buy anything at all. You ever feel like that? Like, when you go to shopping, you're just like, oh my god, I bought so much stuff, and then all of a sudden you're like... Wait, no, I didn't buy anything when you get home. <sighs> You're gonna find out that I just really like graphic t-shirts and that's okay. That's just like where I'm at. And this is a men's small. I love this shirt. Now it's a little crunchy. It definitely could use like a good fabric softener on it. This is just, I feel like gray is always so flattering on so many different people. And like with a tan, I feel like gray always looks so nice. But I bought this shirt to actually go with these high-waisted Levi shorts. Now, the only thing that I will say is Levi's do run a little bit more expensive. So if you're not like, I don't know if Levi's fit me very well, don't do it. Try on a pair of Levi's and actually like figure out if they fit your body shape. Levi's fit my body shape. I am 5'5", five five, I got big booty, big thighs, skinny little waist, and I love Levi's. They just, they're such good quality. They last forever. The only downside is that I didn't realize that these shorts had a full button like up the crotch of them. I am so excited to wear this. And then I did a post in the reference, but I also did buy a silk scarf to go with this, like for a little vintagey moment. This is my vibe right here through and through. First is this denim skirt. Now this skirt is just your basic skirt. It does have a little bit, I'll show you on the bottom. It does have a little bit of stretch and then it has this like frayed edge, which I feel like over time as you wear it will get a little bit more frayed and distressed, which is what I am here for. And then I did purchase the same skirt in black as well. I have yet to wear this one. And then this one does have a little bit more distressing throughout it because it does have a little bit of like, you can definitely see it's, it stretches. It is forgiving. However, if you got a big booty, just be careful because it gets a little short in the back. Okay. Last item to show you is this two-piece athletic outfit. Now, this is just like a basic long sleeve athletic outfit. And the reason that I wanted to show you guys this was because I purchased several like two-piece outfits on Amazon. And so far, this has been my favorite set and like the best fitting. I got a small on this and I honestly wish I would have got a medium because the problem with me is I'm usually a medium on the bottom and a small on the top. They're high-waisted, they're comfortable, and while I did purchase them thinking that I was gonna work out during quarantine, I have not, but it is a motivation for me to work out after quarantine because the gym does open. So, there's that. Just saying. All right, you guys, that is it for this Amazon haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions about sizing, please go ahead and comment down below. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I will catch you guys in my next video.